Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how to make this automatic passive snow farm. So how the snow farm works is basically some plows just pushing a snowman around in a circle and then collects the snow into the chest then it gets pushed over into the system and stored here. It's really quite simple and it also gets you quite a lot of snow. So let's go to the materials. For this farm we are going to need everything that's in this chest here. The extra thing you also need is going to be a power source. So I'm using a creative motor but you're probably going to have it clicked as something else. So what we're going to do is first thing we're going to get the mechanical bearing. We need 24, I've got sandstone here but this can be any material you want. We're going to need 48 walls but again this could be any type of walls you want but it does need to be walls. Um, just stop the snowman jumping over. And we're going to take our mechanical plows, we're going to have three of those. And we're going to have one radial chassis and we're going to grab that glue to begin with. And we're going to come back to the rest in a second. So as you can see, the area is a 7x7 seven seven area you need. So we're going to go find the centre of a 7x7. Seven seven. So 1, 2, 3, that's 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And here I'm just going to chuck in my power source. So this is where it's going to connect. So you might have a windmill connecting to your um, to your farm, or you might have a um, windmill facing downwards facing up to make this farm and this is this can be stacked with other radio farms as well you're going to take your mechanical bearing and put it on top and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill in a 5x5 five five grid we're going to leave one space to begin with because we need to be able to turn it on you will need to fill the space in though so we're going to go out two in all directions and fill it in except for that one extra block there Oh, that's one more than two. And there we go. So this is what's going to do our spinning. I'm going to take a radial chassis and chuck it on top. We're going to chuck some glue on one of the sides. And we're going to put two um, linear chassis, which I forgot to grab. Two, uh, three linear chassis, sorry. Connected facing in the direction the not not vertical. We want it facing horizontal like So Now what we're going to do is you're actually going to turn on a mechanical bearing and see which way it's spinning So it's spinning this way. It's spinning anti-clockwise So that means I need to put some glue on these three and put my three mechanical plows on this side So when it spins When it spins the mechanical plows are spinning in the correct direction. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, cobblestone walls and above this last one we're going to put one there and we're going to just surround the edge. And we're going to do this for two blocks. And this is just to stop the snowman from jumping up on top of this and jumping out. If you are building this in a warm biome, you might need to replace the snowman once in a while, but it does give you quite a few um, snowballs in the meantime. And you can also set this up with compacting drawers and all those things as well. So now we've got our two areas set up. This is where our snowman's going to be. It's going to be pushed around by these plows, which is really, really useful. So now what we're going to do is go back to our chest. I'm going to pick up the remaining of the pieces. So what we're going to need is our two portable storage interfaces, our chests, and we're also going to need our chute along with our snow blocks and a car pumpkin head to make the snowman. You can also make multiple snowmen for this. Um, the rates are slightly better, but they do plow pretty much instantaneously as it spins. We are still going to see our glue as well. So back inside the farm, we're now going to stick glue on these two blocks here on the linear chassis on that back side and I'm going to stick in a double chest so this is what's going to collect the loot on the inside now the inside of this farm is done except for the snowman on the outside I'm going to put a portable storage interface facing outwards I'm then going to put uh, one two three four temporary blocks and then remove the three in the middle and put another portable storage interface facing so these two have two space in between then directly below this, I'm going to leave one space. 
And then on the second space down, I'm going to put some chests. You can use a single, double, or you can put it again into your interface. We don't need those ones now. And then we're going to do is just chuck a shoot. So crouch and chuck a shoot on top of this chest. So when it interface, the interface is connect, it then drops all the stuff into your storage device. Now that's pretty much all done. All we need to do is create our snowman. Snowblock, snowblock, and pumpkin head. We then need to turn it on. So with an empty hand, we're going to click this. I'm going to chuck a, our block back in here so the snowman doesn't fall out. So now the snowman is just going to be pushed around, creating snow layers, which then gets ploughed up into snowballs, connects here, and drops our snowballs into this. Already we've got, um, well, three and a bit stacks, three and a quarter stacks, and it's only been running for a few minutes. Well, not even a few minutes, just a few seconds. But this is as simple as it needs to be, and I think this is quite a simple design. As you can see from the one behind us, that's been running for a little bit longer, not that too, it's only been running for a few minutes, and it's already overloading. So you might want to add some extra storage or some drawers with massive capacities into this farm, because it does create a lot of snow. But it is passive, so you don't need to do all the shoveling to get the snow box or snowballs for the altar. It's really useful, and you can turn it off once you've got a bit. But I hope this has been helpful, and I hope this helps you a lot. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!